Hey there, Psych2Goers. Have you ever heard of depression tiredness? Chances are you've experienced it, but likely don't know what it's called or how to describe it. Depression tiredness is being mentally exhausted from trying to fight off all the negative thoughts that can make you feel worthless, meaningless, or unimportant. It's so much more than feeling tired and can affect your life in many ways, from your lifestyle to how you interact with others. Sometimes it feels as if depression is inescapable. To help put these complex feelings into words, here are four ways depression tiredness can manifest. Number one, being so physically and mentally drained that small things can feel impossible. Is getting out of bed like a battle within itself? With depression, it's a real, valid struggle. Someone with depression has to deal with negative self-thoughts and questions like, what's the point? On repeat, this can wear you down and as time goes on, seemingly small things like getting out of bed and chores can be daunting. Depression tiredness isn't laziness or procrastinating. Rather, it's emotional and physical burnout on a deeper level. When someone is struggling with this, the best thing to do is to be patient and empathetic. Number two, being exhausted from existing, but not truly being able to live. Have you ever thought about the difference between existing and living? In short, existence is the state of being alive, often by doing the bare necessities, whereas living means to enjoy and savor life. This may seem like a small distinction, but it's important to understand when it comes to depression tiredness. With depression tiredness, you have the energy, just enough, to exist rather than live, which can be mentally and physically draining. It's not that you don't want to enjoy life, rather it can feel impossible to. Depression tiredness weighs you down all the time, but with understanding and support, one can help those experiencing this. Number three, feeling tired from having to put up a front. Does depression make you constantly have to fake your smile or pretend to be happy? If so, you know exactly how exhausting it can be. With the fear of bringing the mood down, lingering at the back of your mind, you make the Herculean effort of putting up a front wherever you go. This can wear you down and eventually you could start avoiding going out altogether. Coping with this depends on each unique person, but a good thing to remember is that it's not your fault. You don't have to pretend to be happy all the time, and the people who really care about you understand that. It helps to not be afraid to ask for help when things become difficult. And number four, being drained from not enjoying things you used to. Did you have a hobby you really enjoyed, but now you just can't get back into it? This is an apt description of a lot of people with depression tiredness. As you spiral further into negative thought cycles, hobbies such as drawing, playing an instrument, or reading can become draining and unenjoyable. It's not that you're bored of them, rather it goes deeper to not gaining pleasure from life in general. If this describes you, you don't have to feel bad for being lazy or unproductive. Take the time to heal and seek professional help. And when you're ready, your hobbies will still be there for you. Depression is much like a weight that follows someone around no matter where they go. So it's only natural someone would get exhausted carrying that burden alone making depression tiredness as real as it gets. Reaching out, creating a supportive system of loving friends, family, and professionals is important. Depression is not your fault. So then why hide it like a mistake? It's all the more important to seek out the help you deserve to tackle it. No one should do everything alone. And when you're not afraid of reaching out, you can already see it edging out the door. Did this video help you understand and explain depression tiredness? Is there anything else you'd like to add? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, suggestions, or experiences. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there wondering why they're just so tired. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching.